Good morning. It is a lot colder than it was yesterday. We're at the freezing mark and even below that in and around the metro area down the valley. The heights this morning starting off in the upper 20s and even at the Sunport, a chilly start this morning. 34 degrees right now uh, with clear skies in place. We'll see a lot of sunshine today and get ready for a mild one. Actually, a little warmer than yesterday, even though we are off to this colder start. We'll stay in the 30s right on through the 9 o'clock hour, 37 degrees. And then once we get through the morning, temperatures are really going to climb quickly. Upper 40s as you head out to lunch today and then nearly 60 degrees this afternoon. Beautiful day for us. Winds a little bit higher than they were yesterday, but just a little bit of a light breeze today, so not doing too bad there. Temperatures around the state, 18 up in Cortez, only 9 in Alamosa, 21 in Raton, and we're even in the 20s down in the southeast, 26 in Roswell and Carlsbad, so it is quite cold out there. Again, clear skies out there right now as we head through the afternoon. Highs near 60 for Albuquerque, out to the east, a lot warmer than it was yesterday. 70 in Tucumcari. We'll top out in the upper 60s down toward Roswell and Carlsbad. Get ready to deal with some minor traffic delays today. It tops your morning news blitz. Around 11 a.m. today, Interstate 40 from mile marker 132 to 134 west of Rio Puerco will be closed in both directions. State police will be documenting an accident scene from last week. You should expect minor delays. Santa Fe police have finally caught Lino Quintana. They say he shot a couple in Española during a road rage incident in September. He tried evading cops twice. He's now in jail with no bond on a long list of crimes. The Aztec Police Department could be shutting down operations. City officials there are looking at possibly outsourcing police duties to the San Juan County Sheriff's Office to save money. And Dr. Conrad Murray gets the maximum punishment for Michael Jackson's death. Tuesday, a Los Angeles judge sentenced the physician to four years behind bars. But due to jail overcrowding, Murray will likely serve less than half of that time. And that does it for your morning headlines.